Okay, well, I'm really happy to partner with SawStop on this shop tour video. I'm a huge fan of the SawStop table saw. I use this saw just about every day of the week. And right now, SawStop is having a promotion on their most popular table saw, the Professional Cabinet Saw. I'll have a link in the description with more information about the promotion and I'll have more information in this video a little down the road. Now let's go ahead and meet the guys from Green Street Joinery. Welcome back to Green Street Joinery. Uh, John was here, I think, three years ago, maybe. October 2019, I think it was, uh, for a shop tour. And a lot's changed, and um, we're actually getting ready to move out of this shop. So this, this shop is behind Rob's house. Rob built the shop in 2005, maybe? 2005. Um, we've been in here since October 2019. Um, the shop is it's about 805 square feet inside. Um, I think I grossly overestimated 1,200 last time you were here. I don't know. I don't know where I got that number, but it's 36 by 24, um, and you can see. I mean, it's it's full of tools and machines. Um, Rob and I have officially outgrown the shop, so we're moving into a new 5,000 square foot shop um, just up the road in Keensburg, which is like one town over. Um, so we figured we'd have John over, we'd take you around, show you, you know, what's changed and, and sort of where we're going. Sounds good. So let's start maybe with one of your first big purchases. Was was that the table saw? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so here we have, um, this is the saw stop 3 horsepower ICS. And we have the, the sliding cross cut on there. Um, so this is this is where most of our our table saw work happens right now. We have a plywood blade on here um, So we're using this to break down our plywood uh, and our hardwood um, We got this Probably about a year after we started and we uh, we sort of rearranged the shop around it But this is this has really been a great tool. This is our five horsepower shaper. It's an Oliver we uh, we bought this along with a planer um, which we, things didn't end up working out with the planer, so we don't have that anymore, but um, we still have the shaper. The shaper's working great. We have a, um, a Steph 2048 power feeder on here. So it's a four, four roller power feeder. This thing's great. Keeps you away from all your shaper cutters, which are, right. that's, well, yeah, I have the tiny little router bit in here right I've now. Seen, I've seen some big ones in there though. Um, so this will take half inch router bits. Uh, but it uses a, a, an inch and a quarter spindle um, and you could put, you know, you could see the rings here. You could put a big six inch or so diameter bit on here. Um, so it's nice to have the power feeder to keep your hands away from everything. This, you know, we use for pattern routing, making doors. This is a 22 and a half degree lock miter bit. Um, have an octagonal box back there that we made with that. This is like a little coping sled we use for stuff like that. Probably the heaviest tool, one of the heaviest tools we'll have to move over to the new shop. I guess the planer kind of goes along with that because we, we got them around the same time. Why'd you go with the Powermatic? We, so we had such a, a hard time with the Oliver um, for so long that we kind of just wanted a safe bet. And we figured Powermatic was a safe bet. Um, it was also during like the height of COVID and to get a 20 inch planer was was almost impossible uh, well actually it was pretty much impossible the only thing that was available was the uh the new south bend yeah um which had just come out from grizzly and you know we didn't want to buy the first gen of a tool um just because we didn't know how it would work so we ended up picking up a 15 inch uh helical head powermatic it's the 15 hh and it's been great um, you know, occasionally you get some feed issues, but usually it's just the bed, you know, wax the bed and then you're back, back to normal. So it's been good. I mean, the cut quality is great. Um, we only have a 10 inch joiner. So having a 15 inch planer, it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. It'd be nice to have a 20 again. Uh, it'd be nice to have, you know, a, a 30 or, you know, something bigger. Um, but for now it, it's been working well. So we picked this up, uh, just about a year ago. This is a uh, Grizzly, I think they're calling it a 15 inch or is it a 16 inch? 
15 inch open-ended wide belt sander um, so your your uh, belt is in here with pneumatic tensioning and it's open-ended um, so you can actually sand you know 30 inches of width this paid for itself probably faster than than any other tool in the shop I think your next uh, purchase was that drill press yeah see why we have to move because you have to move things around to get anywhere that you're trying to go um, so this is a Nova Voyager drill press and um, I don't know a lot about the electronics that make it work but it's sort of a smart drill press I think they call it um, so it has menus that you can you know you can set what type of bit you're using, twist bit, brad point, you know, let's say we're using a brad point and it's a quarter inch and we're drilling acrylic. It'll set it to 1500 RPMs. Smooth. It goes, um, let's see, it goes as low as, I want to say, um, 20 or 250 RPMs. Oh, actually, no, it'll go as low as, oh, wow. Well, we're even learning today, 50 RPMs just by, you know, turning the knob. And then it goes up to, I don't know if 3,000 is the, is the max, but it gets going pretty fast. Yeah, so we'll go up to 3,000. So if you're running like a 3-inch Forzner bit right there, I think it sets to 300, 350, and you get a nice clean cut. It, it spits out curls. I mean, we we had a shop box before, and we didn't change the speed ever. You know, it just it stayed on whatever it was on. So um, makes it easy to set the drill press to the correct speed for whatever you're drilling. What was the price on that? Uh, 1,800 bucks. That's expensive for a drill press. Yeah, it seems like it's worth it. We wanted a nice floor. Um, whatever you call it, floor model, drill press, and it has a, it has a good, you know, throat depth there. Um, something that the old old drill press didn't have that this has, I don't know if, if a lot of drill presses have it, but a quill lock, which I think is mostly for, like if you're using a sanding disc in here, but what we, we use it for a lot is, you know, let's say you have to jig something up, um, you can drill into where you need to drill, clamp the quill, you know, clamp the quill down there and then you could set up your fixture underneath of you know so it prevents you from having to bring the for sure bring the quill down to keep testing you know so here's the the laser which um, you may have seen in the the video about the boxes it's, it's covered with dust right now from kind of plywood uh, but this is a boss 1630 it's a uh, 105 watt co2 laser and um, we've been using it quite a bit we uh, like everything. We wish we had one that was bigger and stronger, but um, it's been it's been good for now. This was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, once we got this into the shop, we realized that we couldn't really operate um, in an 800 square foot shop anymore. You know, um, trying to do the jobs that we want to do and grow the business the way we want to grow it. So um, we ended up, you know, uh, signing a lease on a 5,000 square foot shop. Um, so we're going from 800 to 5,000, and we can go over there now and take a look. Nice. That'll be fun. I want to let you know that right now, through April 30th, 2023, that SawStop is having a promotion on their most popular table saw, the Professional Cabinet Saw. This promotion applies to both the 1.75 horsepower saw and the 3 horsepower table saw. With this promotion, you'll get the option to pick a free upgrade for your saw. Choose from the integrated mobile base or the overarm dust collection system, and this is a $289 value. The overarm dust collection captures 99% of the dust, and the rubberized collar easily fits the DC guard. The integrated mobile base will allow you to easily move the saw around your shop. This mechanism lifts with one foot simplicity. The two polyurethane fixed direction wheels combined with the 360 degree casters will ensure easy movement. You can learn more about this promotion at sawstop.com upgrade and I'll have a link in the description below. 
Now let's head back over to Green Street Joinery and check out the new shop. So here we are. Uh, it's been, I don't know, maybe 10 weeks or so since John was here last um, when, you know, all the electric, everything was getting done. So we're moved in. Um, we've been working in here for almost two months now. And, um, and it's going good. So when we, when we set up the shop, this is sort of where we began. This is, this is the heart of the shop where a lot of stuff is happening. We have our two cabinet saws, the um, three horsepower saw stop ICS and three horsepower Delta Unisaw. Um, you know, if you're a woodworker, you know that table saw is basically your main tool. This is what we're doing, you know, all of our ripping with, obviously, 90% of our cross cutting, all of our finished cross cutting. Um, it's all happening right here. So, um, you know, we made sure to get this laid out in a spot where it was going to work well. It's close to both benches and uh, it's really sort of central. It's not in the very center of the shop, but it's central to, to everything else that's going on. So from the table saw, we can sort of uh, go in the direction that the, that the wood goes. So the, the first thing is the miter saw. So we bring our rough lumber over. And this is where everything gets cut to, to rough dimension. Um, once we have it at rough length, we'll come over here to the joiner. Everything gets jointed. And then after that, we move to the planer, which is over here. So we have these feeding in opposite directions. Uh, we're running these off of one dust collector right now. We're still still trying to figure out uh, how we want to go about going to central dust collection. So we're running, uh, what, four dust collectors right now. Uh, so we have the planer here feeding this way. Uh, Powermatic 15 inch with the helical head, which has been, which has been nice. Um, we haven't really run into a situation where it's too narrow. So that's 15 and our Y belt sander is 16. So they're, they're sort of a good match. Um, this is a 16 inch open ended, so we can do, you know, uh, 30, 32 inches. So once we, once we get things to thickness, we run them through here, both sides, take out any snipe or uh, anything like that. So we have nice clean, clean wood coming out of here. Um, in terms of plywood, we go from our, our plywood storage to the sliding table saw. It's a Minimax um, S300W which was owned by a solid surface company before us, which we didn't know. So it's kind of, it's had a hard life. <laughs> we, we had to rig a couple things up. We have a proprietary locking system here for the, for the, um, the fence here on the wing, which has a little micro adjust, which it's working fine, but there was supposed to be, you know, a, a big piece of aluminum in there. Um, what is a solid surface company? Um, so that's like Corian or Wilson Art solid surface, you know, the, the synthetic countertops. So they were cutting Corian on this all the time. Wow. Which is, you know, it's a hard material and um, heavy. So this thing, it's been banged up. It has holes all over in random places that we have no idea what they're for. There's four of them there. You know, mismatched hardware all over the place. But it's getting the job done for now. We have our eyes on something new. But speaking of new, we have an edge bander coming. It should be here in, in about a month. So this old brand um, didn't really work out. We, we bought it at auction with this saw. And um, it's just, it's, it's going to be too much work to get it running. So we have a new Sahisa compact PCS coming. Um, it's on a boat now from Spain. And uh, it should be landing in the U.S. on the 21st of March. So it's like three weeks from now. Nice. So yeah, after things are cut on the, on the slider, they will go to the edge bander, get edge banded. Right now, what we're using is the Festool Conturo, um, which works, it's, it's a lot slower obviously than that. You have to do all the trimming by hand and we'll keep this around for um, you know, anything with a radius when, when we do get the new edge banner. Uh, we do all of the boring, line boring here on the line boring machine, it's a 23 spindle line boring machine. So that'll do your shelf pin holes and then that's where you mount your hinges as well. You know, all the assembly and everything is happening over here at the benches. We have some rolling tables and stuff. We're in the midst of doing more of those salt boxes. So that's all strewn across the whole shop right now. We have our laser over here. 
uh, Boss 1630. It's a 105 watt CO2 laser. And these are all sold. You're cutting boxes now and they're all sold. Yeah, we're doing f 500 this time. We did a thousand last time and these sold out in 15 minutes. So we'll be doing 500 twice a year. Oh, really? So you're going to, in another six months, you're going to do 500 more? Yeah, so same thing. We'll deliver like around November, Thanksgiving. Great. Time. Yeah. These will be going out, you know, late April, early May. We have Rob's bench here. My bench is here. And the shaper we have tucked over here, you know, feeding over towards the edge bander. Uh, I can show you a couple things we're working on. This is a, a big freestanding closet for a foyer. Uh, it's painted in a color called nicotine, which is a, a plain English color, which is a cabinet company um, out in England. The kitchen in this house is actually a plain English kitchen. She loves this color. So we don't have the, the handles yet, but it has a walnut interior. That's nice. Yeah, originally we, you know, we priced this as a regular pre-finished maple interior. Um, but when we started, we started building it. We said to the client, you know, how do you feel about us using walnut? So it's a free upgrade. Oh, wow. That's nice though. It's nice to do something that's special. Yeah, the, the, the walnut with the yellow, I mean, it's the combination is so nice. We have this brass mesh here that is uh, behind these acorns that the client asked for. So Beautiful. Okay. Little walnut frames for that. We have some, these are glove holders. I won't unwrap them, but they're uh, brass and walnut glove holders with hand cut dovetails. So those will actually mount to the doors. You know, I want to let the client decide where they're going to go. And um, for the same, the same home, we were just down there on Monday, we delivered a bunch of stuff and installed some stuff, but we also have this, an, an island countertop, uh, all solid black walnut. It's uh, what, 49 by 11? Uh, 31 and a half. Yeah, so what's the 11 foot two, something like that. And uh, so Rob here, we borrowed the DF700 from our buddy Corey at CT Woodwork to um, do the breadboards. So Rob made these big loose tenons and glued them in. So it's, it's basically like doing it the traditional way with, you know, these haunched uh, mortise and tenon. But this will, you know, slide into here. You'll glue the center and leave all these unglued and um, this will get a, a pin straight through, and then these will get elongated holes, so when the um, table expands and contracts, everything stays tight, but it's still able to move. So the breadboards help keep the table flat. Do you have any pictures of the job that you're doing up there that you can share, or not yet? Um, not yet, because we actually installed a bunch of stuff and then uninstalled it because they have to do the floors, and so it was All kind right. of a... Wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this foyer piece is going to sit on top of some William Morris wallpaper. So so you want to be sure to follow Green Street Joinery to see yeah. what everything looks like installed. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, great seeing you guys. As always, the shop looks great. Thanks for coming by. Great to see you, John. Thanks. All right, guys. See everyone. A big thank you to SawStop for sponsoring this shop tour video. It's always nice to hang out with the guys from Green Street Joinery. If you're in the market for a new table saw, I highly recommend SawStop. Click on the link right here to learn more about SawStop's professional cabinet saw. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.